It's the Avengers. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Classic, original, <laughs> yes. 1960s television show. Yeah, not, not, not who does the Avengers in Victorian Yorkshire. Today's episode is The White Dwarf. Yeah. Which I'm guessing refers to a person. Well, yes. Yeah. Maybe. Hopefully not, though. Like, is it a code name or something? Maybe. Could be. It could be a star. Is there, is there such thing as a white dwarf star? Like, you get a red dwarf star? <laughs> okay, Cappy is back. The white dwarf is, could be a diamond. No, that's not a no. diamond. It's but a the diamond shape. But they're showing diamond. telescopes, so I'm thinking... No. So, like, as a focusing thing. He's now in maximum luminosity. Ah, oh, so it is a star. Ah! Yeah, we've got, we, okay, we've got a little bit of, uh, well, not space, but astronomy. Yeah. Here we go. <laughs> Gosh. What's on the planet? Oh, this is nice. Casually. Expect me to be here in 30 minutes, Black, and to have read the papers. Well, have a look at that one. Kind of astronomical body. The core of the supernova. Uh, okay. Um, what, is, what does that mean, then? <laughs> the stars explode sometimes. During the next few days, the heat and light of the exploding star increases from 1 to 100 million times its original state. And when it's She's read the Wikipedia page. <laughs> yes, you're right. It would go for the sun. But it would take us with it. Yeah. If this news got out, there'd be a worldwide panic. Yep. We're going to tell the country that the world's coming to an end. Oh, wow. It's being decided this morning. So, this week, <laughs> the theory is that he was going to say that the world isn't ending, and that someone wants to create panic by trying to convince the authorities that it is ending. Oh! Just in no, from nowhere. Interesting theory. Tell Cartwright that you want to hear from him by 1am on Thursday morning. Yes, sir. Meantime, I'll tell him what's happening. Mm. Take the observation on Wednesday as planned, and inform him immediately of your findings. Is that understood? No, no, it's not understood. <laughs> we have no option. Not used to hearing that. Happen. When the government announces Victor's theory and we start buying, our names are going to stick out like sore thumbs. But if there was somebody else buying at the same time, it would make it look like we weren't the only ones who didn't believe the world was coming to an end, right? But we won't be buying under our own names, remember? So it's them, then. Yeah, I'm thinking it might be. I just thought we'd do stock some shares. Right <laughs> No one's going to buy stock, no one else wants to buy them if they think the world's going to get out to the end. Mm. So they all go cheap. Then as soon as they realise it's not, they have all good stocks. I guess. <laughs> or anything else. All your efforts to scrape a meagre living in the millions of years. That's where I know I'm from. Um, no, 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 no. Uh, the, one of the professors that gets shot quite early on. Okay. If we are going to be dragged into the sun, it'll be summer all the way for all of us. Until we melt. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Eternal summer. It's like the opposite of frozen. Vegetarians only. What? Oh, it's said that. Seems, there. Yeah. Seems surprising. Yeah, for this time, that would have been unusual. <laughs> What's Professor Richter working on at the moment? He's gone away. On indefinitely. Oh, this Tomb of the Cybermen? Dr. Luke Richter and Dr. Gale. Luke? Oh. Dr. The Gale captain? Been a the last two years. Oh, really? With the accent, American accent. Mm. Yeah, I'm wondering what are the what is this name grid for? Is it just people who've used the telescope? Maybe. Yeah, it might not be anything sinister at all. Mm. Or it could be kill list. Mm. <laughs> I'll tell you about it. Well, now, if you'll excuse me, mm -hmm. I okay. have some plates and okay. plates, but it is underlined, which is weird. I'm sure Ryan would be delighted to see you. It's just possible, of course, he won't remember that. Shall I leave you I feel like something's happened to... Yeah. Ah. Oh. Oh. Ryan? He's no, right there. Uh, no. Mind you In the condition you want. <sighs> yeah. Strikes again. Somebody strikes again. Yeah, I'm, yeah. It's gonna be, be the it's gonna be the guys who want to stocks, right? At least organising it, if not carrying yeah. out the mm. someone working for them. It'd be a good twist if it wasn't them and they were just. <laughs> it's possible. Yeah, yeah. Gail, I've never heard of. Him. It's a woman. 
Well, this is maybe just a coincidence. So who's doing is it? No, not the. I don't no. think they're talking about the murder. Oh. They're talking about Gay or Kathy being there. Oh right. But if he was going to contradict what he told the government six months ago. Yeah. Uh. Of all the best-known financiers who've been making studies on the grand scale, now the person who wants to good for this. Assuming that he's right too. <laughs> Most of them have legitimate. <laughs> Where's my bag? Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> For a minute, I didn't know what that was. Yeah. <laughs> we'll have to talk about this later. Yes. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> we are stockbrokers for some of the most successful financiers and investors in the country. Mm. How are you? Tell us whether we really are going to be wiped out by the white floor. <laughs> Good afternoon. It's my brother in. Uh, yes, I'd expect me to go to Yes, I'm sure. There's Mr. Steed who was asking. There was a man in my office just half an hour ago from the city. He knew all about the White Dwarf. I thought that was the only person you told. Exactly. Now, just a minute. That possibly there wasn't a White Dwarf at all, and that somehow you knew that. None no. of us are going to know that to Wednesday midnight, are we? I'm going to let him keep his morning appointment with a minister now, do you? Knowing my brother, I can't think of any way to stop him. Yeah? Well, there's always one way. Oh. We going there? Then what's the front door? He came out about ten minutes later. He ordered a cab, which took him to his brother's magnificent apartment. It's all pretty obvious. It doesn't prove he's done anything criminal. No. Henry Barker may be guilty of selling secrets, <laughs> or he may be just a fool who got his mouth shut. The end result is the same. 1954, that the Earth began at nine o'clock in the morning on the 26th of October in the year 4004 BC. But mm. maybe mm. the search would seem to question. It's amazing. It's very actual. Yeah. Professor Larson has told the American Science Foundation he's been tracking a white dwarf for six months, which is now dangerously close to it. <sighs> you think this is genuine? Boys book of astronomy. I think Max has been murdered too. I wouldn't be surprised. By Johnson. <clears throat> oh. Oh no, that's John. That is Johnson. Ah. So did the other brother kill Johnson to prevent Johnson killing Maxwell? Maybe. Maybe. Ooh. We'll find out in a few minutes. <laughs> there was nothing else I could do. Ah. I just won't prove or disprove anything. They would just tell somebody where to look for the white wall. Such as Professor Larson in America. <laughs> Yeah, I 
There we go. Oh, I wonder, oh if, wow. <laughs> I wonder if Kathy fixed the images, though, while she was investigating the... when she went up before. Right, right. To get, them, to get him to admit it. Oh, oh, oh. This is the best gun shootout we've had in this show. <laughs> They're usually so chaotic. Oh, he's out. Yeah, interesting his speed up as well. Oh! Is it better? Is it ever so slightly better? It looks better? like it. Talk is about astrology. <laughs> Fifth of October. Fifth of October, that's... That puts you under Libra. Huh? Yeah. What? Six days after it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We should have watched this a week ago. <laughs> the planet... This is your chance to break out of the right to live in. So here's the wind. Come out of your shell. Here at last is your great opportunity to live dangerously. Oh. Okay. Did we... We didn't get it. Did, did they explain that? Not really. I mean, oh dear. I mean, your theory about Kathy. We it must have changed it. Whoa! Yeah, it was good. It was good. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this is the Falcon Ball? Yeah. But no term sticks. No. It was a standout. Yeah. Um, it was weird that it didn't really get explained. Yeah. It was made to uh, look like the White Dwarf was on. Um, it must have been. It must have been. Kathy, Kathy must have swapped over the um, uh, the plates that they were using. Maybe she did say that whilst I was looking up her birthday. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't think. No, I don't think they said anything. No, they, they were just talking about yeah, astrology. Yeah. If not, so, someone can let us know what happened there. <laughs> yeah. Please explain what actually happened. From cute dogs to cute cats. <laughs> We'll get you uh, um, wanting a pet any day now. <laughs> nine. nine. Eight point five. Light uh, blue, light blue. Ah, you went with the thrilling. Yeah. Yeah. I suppose it was, in a way. Yeah, this is great. It was. Um, I mean, talk about stakes. It was the... very... The atmosphere was like quite tense, actually. I was like... Mm. Uh, and it wasn't even slow to begin with. Because they, they opened with that and it was it, it sort of held that tension all the way through it was mostly the the discussion around it that highlighted just how big of a deal it was yeah um you know i mean we, we didn't get to well i guess because it wasn't like the information wasn't revealed to the public so there obviously wouldn't have been that sort of reaction to it but it was still yeah it still did have that importance. Yeah, it. and it, it yeah. did sort of discuss that that would be the reaction. That was what Yes. The, that's really that's true. Yeah, it's a good it's in this strange place of how keeping that secret. Mm. But how do you deal with you knowing but nobody else does? Yeah. It's a really interesting place to be. Yeah, and something that concerns the entire existence of everything. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> it's the yeah, it is the biggest stakes in any episode we've had. Yeah. And probably will ever be. But to contain it all as well, that's yeah. my that's my point. Is that this is, you know, a typical, you know, oh it's the end of all Doctor Who nowadays, especially in Russell T. Davies, does this every episode. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> to the point where it becomes exactly. routine. But, but this no. is a, such an interesting take on it, and I feel like it's almost, it's very Malcolm Hulk as well. I'm thinking Invasion of the Dinosaurs, almost. Oh. To have this small group of people who have this huge plan for the world. It's not entirely the same. I'm thinking, sort of, tone-wise, this huge world-altering event yeah. contained very small. Yeah, the, um, the implications. Yeah, it's yeah. a really thoughtful and really interesting story, I think, is this. Yeah. Very unique. Um, I'm very happy with it. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and and seeing all the different perspectives as well. Yeah. You know, uh, Luke as well. Yeah. Uh, the son of the, the first victim. Yeah. Um, and him discussing yeah. what his plans might be with the other astronomer. Yeah. Um, yeah. And then the whole... The plot, like, made, it made perfect sense. I mean, I kind of guessed it quite quickly. Oh, you... But... You guessed most of it. <laughs> Yeah. But that almost wasn't the important bit. 
That's almost not it's the still, interest. No, it's still it's still intriguing to to see it play out, even if you might know where it's headed. And I, yeah. I mean, the plot isn't the focus of the episode. It's the that's not the interesting bit. Okay, well, I might story. have been okay. I might have been trying to say that um, the interesting bit of the story is again the, the sort of the character relationships and the the thoughts yes. into how you deal with the end of the world, but you knowing it, but nobody else does. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, but it is still, it's, it's a, even just plot-wise, that plan for the stocks does make sense, I guess. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but yeah, the, the two brothers, the one uh, that, that really doesn't trust the other one, rightfully so. Absolutely, yeah, that was... Yeah, definitely one of the... Uh, well, I mean, it was all good, but that, that did uh, particularly stick out mm-hmm. for me, that rivalry. Yeah. Yeah. It was a big cast, and everyone felt relevant. I was just about to say, yeah, we've had uh, episodes with lots of characters, but this time each one felt yeah like they had a reason to be uh-huh. there. Yeah. As opposed to just, like, look at all these people, which is kind of... Yeah. Initially, I was a bit concerned that this would maybe go in that direction and also be a bit of a slower one, but thankfully no. it wasn't. Um, yeah, and uh, and honestly, just having the astronomy as the, the subject as well, you know, I mean... It's interesting. It's a bit yeah. of a... Yeah, you kind of take a gamble when you, when you centre it around a specific subject like that, but it, it works. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> it's a, it's yeah. a... Yeah... It is, it's an interesting topic as well, I think. I yeah, don't know what, how scientifically accurate it is, but I assume mm. Marcus Malcolm does do good sci-fi. I suppose he has done his research. Yeah, well, <laughs> yeah, I, I, I can't comment on that. No. I'm no scientist. <laughs> but it was still very interesting. Yeah. Yeah, it got me, like, thinking. Yes. It as well. That's Malcolm Hawk, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, the the guy playing so I mentioned yeah we had a couple of yeah couple of familiar faces Doctor Warlock from Pyramids of Mars is the name of that character uh, okay um, the captain yeah from Tomb of the Cybermen was in it hmm. and also Cartwright was yeah. Grusa in the Five Doctors uh, I sort of I I sort of. Vaguely recognised him, but I can again. I can remember now that where it's from. Now that you say it, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> mm. That have been twenty odd years after. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wow. So yeah, a lot of uh, Doctor Who actors in this one. Yeah. Yeah. Even even if they're not the most well known, it's still what well, you know, Doctor yeah. guest actors. <laughs> yeah. It's not. Yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. Uh, and it was. You know what? It was really cool to see. Um, an Indian actor, an Indian sure. character, mm. um, and you know, women scientists, and that's kind of just normalised. Yeah, it's not pointed out really in any way. Yeah, well, that's yeah, that's how you do. Which good on you, Malcolm Hulk. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I'm good. I really like Malcolm Hulk. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's done. He's done. We both do, of, we? Yeah, he's done a lot of excellent <laughs> Doctor Who's, um, which mostly. Patrick Charlton? Uh, mostly or... John Pertwee. Oh, right. We did... He did some. He did Pertwee. some Patrick Charlton. Okay. It, yeah. War Games, one before that. But well, War Games is the last one. Faceless Ones, did he do? Oh, okay. Um, and then Doctor and the Silurians, The Sea Devils, Invasion of the Dinosaurs. Yes. Okay. And, um, all that sort of Sorry, stuff. I'm... I, yeah, I don't always remember the writers for yeah. certain ones, but but yeah, those no. Now that you're mentioning those stories, yes, yeah, they're, mm-hmm. yeah, they're really good. Did you do a season eight one as well? Maybe did you do Colony in Space? No, I, I don't know. No. no, but I do remember we've always really liked what Malcolm Hulk has. Written. Yeah, yeah, and this is no different. Yeah, yeah, I think the. The weakest part. Okay, so the ending, I think it's maybe yeah. deliberately not 100% resolved. But uh, we assume that, yeah, there was some trick going on there. Yeah, with the well, place. It has to be. I, I don't think I would have guessed that if you hadn't said it. 
What um, would you if I if I hadn't said if you hadn't said if Kathy had swapped the like, place? Yeah, I would have just thought, wait, what? What happened? <laughs> You know, what was it? Okay. Did, did, is is the white dwarf actually gonna destroy everything? And they're talking about astrology. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, right? <laughs> yeah, they don't even do the thing where it's like, ah, so it was this given that they're not that... concerned by the end, <laughs> it must be fine. Right? That's that's true. Yeah. That's true. But, yeah, they had just plan. Yeah. But it is just strange that it cuts. Yeah, mm. that it just cuts away from it all. I think, I, I almost want to say that Steed is the weakest part of this episode. Really? Because he's not in it a whole lot. He makes a few jokes, which isn't <laughs> out of character. Yeah. But even in this situation, he would, I think that's how he'd kind of deal with it. But, I don't know, he just... He was this wasn't bad. the most interesting episode for him. Kathy was good in this. Again, it was a good Kathy one. Fairly, I think. Mm. I feel but like it was that. more guess more about the guest cast. Yeah, yeah. I feel like both Kathy and Steed weren't really that. Yeah. Uh, yeah, didn't have that much of a focus. Kathy yeah. more so because she's getting getting involved with the uh, telescope yeah. and stuff. Yeah, I suppose. I mean, it wasn't like, it, at least not to me. It didn't seem like uh, it was the the. Expertise area of the week. No, for Kathy. No, yeah. although she, she wasn't was like, I'm a, I love astronomy. No, no. Well, she just kind of no. went to. Her excuse was to that she wanted to see Mars or something, mm. right? Yeah, I um, think so. something like that. But uh, aside from, yeah, you're right. She wasn't, you know, pretty, she wasn't like didn't have that expert knowledge. Aside from at the beginning when she did, <laughs> encyclopedia. encyclopedia Cathanica. But <laughs> like Encyclopedia Britannica but with Kathy. Oh. Um Kathypedia okay. <laughs> as we call her. <laughs> she knows everything. Sure. Um yeah. yeah. Really good. Really good. Yeah, absolutely. One of the best, if not the best, maybe. Maybe, I think that's probably the, maybe the highest I've given. Yeah. Maybe. He might maybe right there. Maybe. We'll see you next time. Yeah, five more episodes to go. Outro. Outro.